G'day viewers, Retro Man here and welcome to The 80s Show. Now today I'm going to be talking some more about the last Beatles song, Now and Then. And the more I think about this song, guys, I tend to look at it as a masterclass in how art can travel. What we have here is a raw, simplistic piece of John Lennon art that has fallen into the hands of some former band members and over the course of decades, and uh, with a lot of creativity and some reshaping, this piece of art has blossomed and arrived at an alternate destination. And this really is a fascinating story, guys, because now this piece of raw, simplistic art is actually touching the world. I mean, this song now and then has become a major music event. In fact, it has now become one of the most talked about songs of 2023. And really guys, I'm sure when John Lennon sat at that piano back in the late 70s, he would never have imagined what this song would become. Art goes through changes, for better or worse, but ultimately changes are made to garner the best desired effect for its time and place. In the case of the last Beatles song, Now and Then, it was originally performed and recorded by John Lennon on a cassette tape in 1978. From what I've heard, the intent of the song was really a love ballad from John Lennon to Yoko Ono. It's basically John sitting at a piano, thinking about his relationship with Yoko and him shedding his emotions like a broken man pining for his lover. Sorry guys, but it's not about the Beatles at all. However, the new presentation of the material, in particular the music video, makes it a grand goodbye song, kinda like one final salute. It plays out like a goodbye to John, a goodbye to George, a goodbye to the band, and in some ways a final goodbye to us, the fans. Does it worry me that the true meaning behind the song has been manipulated to make it a finality cap on the Beatles, a band that has given us some of the most important songs in our lifetime? No, not really, because that's what art is all about. In fact, there were some verses that were taken out of the original demo tape that just didn't fit right in the new interpretation, or should we say, the new presentation of it as a Beatles song. I guess at the end of the day, it's about analysing the raw content and changing it to best represent the emotion needed for now. And of course, now is the time for the band to say goodbye. And as they say, art imitates life. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed my little discussion on how this piece of John Lennon art has now taken on this alternate form. I mean, it's not really how it was originally intended to be heard, but guys, it is just tremendous what has happened here through the creative process. I've enjoyed every minute of uh, the journey of uh, watching how this has gone from a song to a music video to hearing what other people think about it. I mean, what I'd like you to do now is share your comments in the uh, box below, guys, on what you really think of this song and what you think of how it has been changed, altered, adapted, manipulated, call it what you will. Tell me your true thoughts and feelings about it. I think it's been a really fascinating journey. And uh, guys, I really like this song. It's growing on me by the minute and I just cannot stop listening to it. So guys, please share all your thoughts in the box below and keep watching the 80s show because you will never know what is going to pop up next. And guys, in case you've missed them, I have a whole host of Beatles videos on this channel. I mean, I've really been tracking the progress of this song. So if you've missed some of my reviews and reactions, definitely go and check those out, guys. I would really appreciate it. And uh, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. So guys, this is Retro Man, living the dream, 80s style. Stay gold.
Thanks for watching. Retro Man will return faster than a boomerang and just as intriguing as the new Beatles song. Please subscribe and good night, viewers.